Hey, do you guys run the Zumo XT on your bike? This could be a BMW or not. I'm running it, I love it. I also got a mount that I'm very, very happy with. Uh, this mount is made by Moto Pumps. Uh, I would assume they're known for their Moto Pump, which I don't have yet, I wanna buy. But I did get their mounting bracket, which is extremely slick, very low profile. This thing fits here like factory. Uh, there's just one downside to the factory Garmin Zumo mount and that it's this easy to pull off the bike, which is good and bad. I also got a sleeve that I like to slip it in and then I take it in hotel, tent, or restaurant. Uh, but recently, Moto Pumps have came out with a new security bracket pin plate. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to put this on the bike. The mechanism to the Zumo mount is nothing more than a spring-loaded release right here on top. And the idea of the kit, if I understand it correctly, and we're going to get to that in one second, is it slips in behind here in which you can no longer push this down. Now, sure, yeah, I guarantee you can probably rip this off, uh, but that's not why I'm installing this. I'm installing this for your regular park, restaurant, and have a little peace of mind that someone can't just pull it off that easy. Let's get it on the bike. All right, this is what I just uh, picked up, had shipped to the house. These folks here, Motor Pumps. They got a website, motorpumps.com. I'm thinking this is instructions. You scan with your phone, even comes with an Allen, sort of the hardware, and then here's the unit itself. So you can kind of already see what's going on. That will clamp right around the bar and the unit will be right there. Very similar to factory. So for reference, here is the factory unit. And you can see how we've got the hole where the bar is and it mounts right like so. So if you can visualize, this will actually be closer to the bar. All right, I wanted to show you this. This was instructions. Uh, like I assumed. I think most phones at this point, if you launch the camera app, Apple Android, and you hold it over, there's a little, uh, oh, need to just, a little pop up there, you hit it, and then it'll take you uh, right to the instructions. So he's got his instructions. Uh, pretty obvious, really probably don't need to read it. Although <laughs> he is stressing about not to over tighten the hardware. And he says, tighten the hardware, it could be a girl too. He, she, they, they say, <laughs> sorry motor pumps, I just don't know. Tighten the hardware snug enough to hold, no more. Tight enough to keep your device from moving or rotating on the vehicle crossbar, but not arm tight not wrist tight, but firmly hand tight. <laughs> I think that's funny. That's great. So he's really emphasizing these two right here, not to over tighten that. This is some kind of polymer plastic, uh, you know, so you jam them in there, you will break and strip. When you got stainless steel compared to the plastic, I'm generalizing when I say plastic. It's Dur, it's Delrin, Delrin. All right, there it is. And you can see how much closer it is to that bar. And I was a little concerned about this. I didn't want to crank it so hard, but I did give it a, a decent bend in that it shouldn't be, it's not in my view, you see? If I'm not running the GPS, um, Shouldn't be too bad there. I got the little dust cover still usable. All right, I got putting the GPS on here and it really was covering too much of my TFT. And, and then I remembered there's a lot of holes on the back. So right now I moved this installation plate towards the bottom. So you can see there, bottom, two holes there. So now it's higher. Oh yeah, there it is. Take a look at that. A 
if I hold the camera right about where my eyeballs are, that's kind of what I see. All right, let's take a look at what comes in the kit. I'm not thrilled about the price, but everything does seem nice. All right, let's take a look here. We get a sticker. That's exciting. I didn't get a sticker before. That just might go on the bike. We get the uh, bracket plate itself. We get two keys. Those are gonna be used to unlock it. I did already cut all this open. It was nicely sealed. A Little bit of a business card and instructions. Great that he comes with two keys to remove the security pin. And that's just gonna be in the way of the release mechanism right there. Uh, a little bit of a uh, O-ring right there, which is nice. That will help keeping it there so it doesn't vibrate itself back. All right, so the name of this game is not to drop anything. <laughs> Get your plate ready. It does say to keep the security pin in it for installation. All right, we're airborne. An assistant might be nice for this task. So we're gonna slip it in without dropping any screws. And then find the holes they were in. Hopefully you can be as successful as me, although I shouldn't jinx myself. We're not, we're not through the woods yet. <laughs> so one thing I was a little unsure of with this GS and I've got this extended windshield is getting this key in and out of here with the windshield and, and the size of the bike and just the overall clearance. I might pull off the keychain. I like the keychain. It's a nice touch, but Okay, so you pull that out. And let's drop our new pin in. Using the key. Twisting it in. Okay. Just give it a load of a Snug up, and look at that. You cannot push it down. So another advantage to getting this on here is I've heard guys online talk about how they're going to adjust it and this thing comes off so easy, their fingers hit it, and this thing goes flying off the bike. I think I've heard two different stories like that. I hope this helped you if you're thinking about buying that. Thanks for watching, guys.